everybody. So we're going to learn how to fold a paper crane. Importantly, you don't have to have a fancy piece of origami paper, although we have ways that you can access one if you'd like. You can also just use a normal uh, rectangular piece of paper and make a square out of it by doing something like this and then cutting off the edge piece right here. So that would make it a square as well. So you don't have to have fancy paper if you don't have it available to you. But if you do have a piece of square paper, we're gonna start with the very first step, which is to fold your square diagonally. With every step, it helps to make a really firm crease, either using your finger or maybe your nail. So that's step one. The second step is to do that again. Again, using your nail. So this is step three. I add a third step, which is I do yet another triangle because this helps me make some extra lines. So this now has been folded three times into a triangle. And that creates something that looks a little bit like this picture, number four. The next step is, I think, one of the most tricky ones. It's number five here. And what you're going to be doing is making two squares. There's one square, there's another square. And to do that, you're going to take one corner of your, of your um, paper and fold it into a corner, a square. Find the lines that you've made here and bend them over against those lines. And that creates what number four looks like. So again, you've kind of started the creation of a square, one side of the square. Every time you have the opportunity to press is a good time. So this looks like number four now, and you're going to complete number four by again taking the corner and tucking it in. And now, again, creasing and pressing, you have a square. That looks like this picture, number six. I've taken my square and I've turned it so that the open parts are facing me. I t was taught how to do this when I was a little kid um, at Kadena Elementary School in Okinawa, Japan. And the trick that I was taught is to take your finger and to place it against the top of that, of that uh, square and you're going to begin to create this shape here on number eight by opening up the square you're going to start creating the crane's body and the best that you can do is the best that you can do on this this is a hard shape to create but here's the beginnings of that shape of the crane's body and here's the other side And now you have what looks like step number nine. You're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Again, the opening is towards you. Again, you're going to use your finger and press down to create the guidelines for the edge of the crane's second part of his body or her body. And again, you're just pressing them down. So now, not very perfect, but that's okay. My mom always says it's not doesn't have to be perfect. You've got basically this step right here, but both sides. It looks a little bit like step number 11 or step number 12. From here, if you take the edges that are open and again face them towards you, you're gonna be folding the portion of the crane's body again, inward, like this, triangle, turn it over and do the same thing. And now what you've got is what is going to be the wings of the crane. These are the wings and the body of the crane. This is the body. And this will be the head and neck, and this will be the tail. 
So it doesn't matter which side is going to be the head and neck or which is going to be the tail, but you're going to take one of those sides with your, your finger and invert the corners like this and crease it. It's not the best grain today. And crease. See, mine's not perfect, and that's okay because it's going to become the beak of the bird where I fold it inside of itself again and squish it. Can you imagine Sudeiko used to do these on this tiniest, tiniest piece of paper and they were perfect? And then this will be the tail. So again, you're just going to fold it inside of itself to create the tail. And now you should have something that looks like the final picture. Um, number 17 and you have succeeded and if you want to you can fold your wings down or not your crane this little guy doesn't stand very well that's okay he still will be loved but you have succeeded in making one of a thousand paper cranes the end <laughs>